Yo, welcome back to the channel once again. Today we're gonna be doing a fix, so a cheap fix for a common problem for the three ISs. So it's probably pretty common that the center console armrest cracks. Probably from lack of uh, conditioning, leather conditioning, and everything. But I bought my car used, so it's already kind of cracking when I bought it. So we're gonna fix this issue with a cheap part that I got off of eBay. Just got the leather skin. I'm just gonna staple it up and see how it works. I'm gonna link this down below if it does work good and you just wanna try it out. I think it is cheaper than getting this thing re, re upholstered, reposterized. So I think that's like really expensive for it is. So if I fail, you guys are watching fail, so stay tuned. So I've, I've never actually ever done this before, but my good friend was able to send me a um, a forum to how to do it. So I'll link that forum down below too. And if you guys want to follow that forum, you guys are more than welcome to, or just follow my video, either or. So let's go ahead and start assembling this. He said on the forum to just go from the back to the AC, but I think I can try to remove it without having to do that. So we're going to see if it works or not. See right here it says to uh, go ahead and pry out the rear piece to get to I think the back of the arm console right around here but I think I have the right tool to go ahead and just remove it off of here so let's find out. So hopefully this is a good angle you guys can see so this should be a good run so we'll find out. Alright right off the bat I just see these screws so that's what I'm going to remove first and see where it goes. I decided I'm gonna go ahead and do the AC like the instruction says. I wanna follow the instructions to make sure I got everything right. So I'm just gonna follow it. And it's up to you guys if you guys don't want to remove it or not. But I wanna see what's actually under here that they tell us to remove it. So I'm gonna find out. So I got it out, but I had some issue with this screw, which is right here. It's like loose, but it's like wiggling and not coming out. So I just like kind of pulled a little bit and it, the plastic kind of came out of the screw. Pretty much it just sat like this. And I got I, my trim tool right there. And I pried each side out. And then that this piece came out. And now I had to move this piece right here. So that's the next step. Sorry I didn't film that, but hopefully you guys got it. Now what they said about why they removed the back piece was to access these bolts right here. So, right there, um, it won't focus. Those two bolts, that's the reason why he removed the back piece so he could access right here. Cause now with that room, with, with that vent removed, you could access these. Lucky I removed that back piece because this thing did not fit right here. So I have to do what the construction says and get, and get a screwdriver and then see if I could put it through. He says it's very tedious, but it works, he said. Let's see if it works. For some reason, it didn't record the audio, so, but I'm just showing you that why that screw was loose and didn't um, twist off. It's because the actual plastic piece came off and broke. That's why it didn't work. So what I'm doing is I'm using clippers. I'm just clipping the staples in half and just pulling it out. Surprisingly, I got this one out and then I don't see any staple marks behind here. So maybe it's not even that deep. I was going to use a staple gun, but maybe a regular staple will work. So we'll see what's going to happen. 
at the time lapse. And that's it. Very time consuming. But the leather is off. Now to find a staple for the new one. So after using the staple, well, I use like the one of those uh, heavy duty ones. We like that, get to push down on it and press down. I use that staple. And the Fitbit's okay. The staples barely went through it sometimes. And it was kind of hard to work with, but cheap replacement I guess yeah it's not the greatest but it's better than having that rip right there so I do have some gap it wasn't perfect and then the staples aren't holding as good as I want it to but hopefully once I put the screws in I'm gonna tuck some of the leather under and now it's just a matter of fact of putting it back together so far what was a big come right there Comparing to like, I think it's like this piece of Lexus is like maybe two hundred dollars. It's like twenty bucks, thirty bucks. So not terrible, I guess. So put it back together. So my honest review on it is, um, if you're not good at upholstery, I, I probably wouldn't recommend it. It's not perfect. The fitment's kind of whacked. It's whatever. I'm not. I was looking for anything too perfect, anyways, because I just went to need to cover up that hole for a little bit. So I don't think anyone's gonna look at my car that detailed. But if I, if you have the proper tools, you could probably tackle it, but then it's just a big headache. A lot of stuff wasn't fitting right. The fitment wasn't really that good, but I'm a broke boy. So if you're a broke boy too, then this is a simple, easy fix you could try. I tried using leather glue, it didn't work too well. So maybe I need to find a better leather glue if I wanna do it better, but overall it was a it was okay. It doesn't look the best. It looks not that great, I guess. But it is just an armrest. It's gonna break. It's over time, anyways. I know it's gonna break again. It's gonna rip. I'm gonna try to condition it and see how long it'll last. And then next time I do it properly this time. I use something because we're doing a big wedding prep right now. So I try to get everything done while being cost efficient because the weddings are not cheap. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a little DIY armrest. A lot of 3IS has this issue where it rips up. So, I want to see if I could try to tackle it and it didn't work too well. What you could do is buy the material. Then, once you remove all the staples, just get your upholstery leather local shop just to staple it together and then just throw it back on. Honestly, it might be cheaper that way. I tried to call my local upholstery shop. Oh, lights turned off. I tried to call my local upholstery shop and then they didn't pick up and I'm trying to need this done like soon because I got my wedding coming up so I gotta do a lot of prep. Who knows when this video will come out. I'm just recording a bunch of stuff I'm doing to my car right now for the wedding prep and I just want my car to look good for the wedding day. So like I said overall it was okay. Fitments could have been better. It feels I guess not as good as OEM not as soft as OEM but it's just just to make it look, uh, just aesthetically appealing that the hole is gone. So that's what makes, makes me happy. And like I said earlier, just try to remove it. And then if you could get your local upholstery shop to staple it together and see if they can make the fitment better, then that works and you just put it back together. It shouldn't be too expensive. All of you just stapling it together. So it shouldn't be too expensive, I hope. But it depends on everyone's shop. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this videos. These videos, a lot of people are getting and I'm always here to help you guys. So go ahead and like, if I don't respond back in 24 hours, just DM me at Instagram because Facebook, YouTube's been doing this thing where it's like, gave me a notification and it's not just like there. And sometimes removing some comments, which is weird too. But I appreciate all you guys. Like even the haters, the lovers, the guys who just would watch over. I appreciate everyone who watches my videos, no matter what. So thank you guys again for just tuning in sticking off me if I was boring video but hopefully it was something you guys can see how to do 
and see me fail so you don't have to fail. Stay safe, take it easy, I'll see you guys in the next video.